Well, here we are out in the bayou. Smell that fresh swamp air. I've come all the way out here to give you a bayou belly review and relive my past. At one time, Konami used to be one of my favorite game developing companies. I mean, they created one of the greatest trilogies on NES of all times, Castlevania. So, does the Bayou Belly game hold up to that Konami stamp of approval? Let's find out. And I do recall my childhood. Thinking back, I remember glimpsing through those magazine articles of Nintendo Power. It was my birthday, June of 1989. Bayou Billy was released and I begged my parents to get me it for my birthday. They wanted to make me happy as always, and I'm sure they wanted me to shut up about it. So, sure enough on that day, I held Bayou Billy in my hands. I popped that puppy in the nest and bam! The Adventures of Bayou Billy! Bayou Bowie. I remember clearly thinking to myself, I thought that his name was Billy, not Bayou Bowie. At this point, I was hoping the crappy voice at the title screen was not an indication of the quality of the game. The game started and I thought, this is cool, great graphics, cool Konami music, this is going to be great. And then, the second screen happened. The game was so incredibly hard. The enemies were back and forth, up and down. Your best choice was just to start kicking and hope for the best. What's even better is when you have to fight a swamp full of crocodiles using your bare hands. On top of that, you can only punch when in water. You cannot kick at all, so you better hope that they drop a weapon so you can use it against them. Why did the enemies take so many hits? Why did they make the gameplay so stiff? Why were the controls so awkward? Well, at that point in my life, I knew the game and I were joined at the hip. I couldn't tell my parents I didn't want the game. I mean, I begged them and begged them to get the game. So when the question came up, how's your new game? All I could do is say, I'm having so much fun. Let's continue on with the other flaws. Bayou Bui is only one player. Why was this not made a two player game? Probably because you would have a chance of beating the game, and they certainly didn't want that. Have you ever heard of any game where the enemies steal the health that is laying on the ground from you? No? Well, it's called Bayou Bui. After beating an enemy, over and over he will sometimes drop food that looks like a chicken or a pork chop. It must be a Konami trademark. Does it remind you of something? This can be so annoying. Just when you are about to pick up the food, the enemy steals it, and then the inevitable happens. There are many other items that you can collect in addition to the food. There are bulletproof vests, pistols, clubs, and whips. I have never collected the whip because I have never seen past level 5. The programmers made sure that you would only see the whip on the demo screen that is displayed shortly after viewing the title screen. They just wanted to tease you a bit and show you where you could get. After each level has been completed, it breaks to a quick cutscene that shows the head gang member that is holding your girlfriend hostage. He always has something real cocky to say and it just makes you want to beat the game even more. Between the gang member laughing at you and the difficulty of the game, you've got a perfect mix for high blood pressure. <laughs> I would call the game a beat-em-up, but it's not worthy. When I think of a beat-em-up, I think of Double Dragon. So I would refer to it as a side-scrolling action game. In addition to the side-scrolling action, they tried to add other elements like driving and shooting, kind of like Duck Hunt. I think this was a great idea to include many different styles of gameplay into one game, but the problem is they completely forgot to make the game fun. They made the game so hard, it's almost unplayable in my opinion. I do not want to believe for one minute that a QA team or testers actually sat down, played, and tested this title, and then said, this game is just so much fun. All oh, the kids are really going to like this one. No, I think they just pushed this title out and slapped their Konami name on it and said everyone will buy this. We're Konami. Well, guess what, Konami? You fooled me, and I'm still feeling the pain today. 
The driving levels are so awkward, and you always end up dying because on the turns you will get planes that fly by and drop bombs. When you are on a turn, you cannot move left or right, so of course the bomb is going to land right on top of you. If you manage to get through the level, you think, great, I'm going on to the next side-scrolling stage, but guess again. You have to do another driving level, and you thought the last one was hard? This one's twice as hard, and you have to travel a longer distance. You can see the meter at the top of the screen. Well, I decided I always wanted to see the end of the game, so I threw my Game Genie in and added the code for the last level. The game started, and it shows I'm on level 5. I assumed I added the wrong code, so I tried again. Nope, it's level 5 again. I gave it one last try, and added the code for level 7. Again, it started me on level 5. The Game Genie book was flat out wrong. I have to face the truth. I will never finish the game. Bayou Bowie will remain incomplete in my life. If you've actually finished Bayou Billy without any cheat codes, I do have to say that's quite impressive. I mean, it's on the nest list for games that are just too hard to be any fun. So, I don't recommend this title at all, unless you're a hardcore collector. This title, well, this Bayou stinks, and I'm leaving it behind.